Maneuvering through the pandemic has been a challenge for many of us. For some students, distance learning brought on stress, anxiety, and loneliness. But a Cumberland teen came up with an idea of relieving stress and having fun at the same time, mastering the yo-yo and solving the Rubik's Cube. 12 News anchor Mike Montecalvo takes us to Cumberland in this week's Street Stories. 14-year-old Owen Horvath started playing the yo-yo during distance learning last year. He says it helps pass the time, but it's also good for mental health, and it helps him on the football field, too. I'm kind of the yo-yo kid now. All right, Owen, how long have you been doing this? Um, I've been doing this for about a year and a half now. Just something that I really enjoy doing can relieve a lot of anxiety and stress. All right, so show me a trick that you created. Okay, so here's one I have created. Do you have a name for this? I don't yet. So you're a football player, you're a quarterback. Is this helping you play? Maybe. I mean, I do do it before a game. Help me calm down a little bit and helps me get my mind off of the game. How hard is it to do this? It's just practice. Right now, like, I can do this without even thinking about it. Practice and it becomes muscle memory for me. During the pandemic, Owen could not see his great-grandmother, so he went to her nursing home and outside of her window demonstrated a few yo-yo tricks. She thought it was pretty cool. She, uh, she told me when she was a kid, uh, they had yo-yos that they would play with. All right, competition. Do you want to start competing? That's one of my main goals is to be able to win a competition at some point. Competition isn't necessarily who's the best. It's who can play the system the best and uh, know the rules the best, perform the best in the competition. You know what the odds of me getting this right are? <laughs> you have a better chance of winning Powerball. Throw down like that. And then you can... <laughs> It's not supposed to stay there, is it? I might be too old for this. Up like this? Yeah. Okay, what happens next? <laughs> I already messed it up, didn't I? You talked about the yo-yo is good for mental health. What about the Rubik's Cube? Yeah, I would say it's a, it's a similar thing. It can definitely, you can kind of um, lose yourself in it. Um, I, you know, you can end up doing it for an hour and just solving it over and over. It kind of can put you into like a, a zen state. This is a three by three. Mm -hmm. How long does it take you to solve this? Um, it takes me under 30 seconds. Under 30 seconds. You're not even looking at it and you're doing it. How are you figuring that out? Um, right now I'm just doing a certain set of moves uh, that I've memorized. Um, and if you do them over and over, you'll just um, eventually bring the uh, cube back to a soft state, so. Owen says his goal is to get the three by three down within 10 seconds. And then he's going to master the five by five. In Cumberland, Mike Montecalvo, 12 News.